Kaz. Welcome to So Focus on Tour. In this video I'd like to share my experience of my first market. As we travel around the country uh, we're going to be traveling to lots of different country towns and we'll be doing quite a lot of markets um, in the process. So I wanted to choose a market that was close by so I could have a practice at um, how to set up um, what kinds of products we'll sell and also get a bit of a guide to pricing. I started looking at different markets that were available um, a few months ago and I joined a Facebook group, group which um, has lots of different markets available and I found one that was about 10 minutes away from where we live uh, so I thought that would be a nice easy first one to try out and I went through the application process so filled in the application form sent it off about three weeks um, prior to the market being on and I didn't actually find out that I'd been accepted into the market until the week before the market. The week prior to the market I was busy finishing off projects and making sure I've had enough variety of products to, um, to put into the market and of course I was doing all the um, finalisation of um, putting pricing and tags onto all of the, my items. <laughs> was done prior to the market opening and we had access to the area at um, from 8 30 in the morning so we had an hour and a half to set up and I thought that this would be plenty of time um, but um, I was literally doing the last um, finishing touches right up until um, when the doors opened when I did my setup, I set up all the um, fixtures that I was going to display my items on in um, kind of a format that was like a little shop so that it would invite people to come into the area so that they could look at the products, um, they could touch them, feel them, um, check them out, have a bit of a conversation with people and um, I thought that this would work really well. However, a lot of um, the other stands um, at the market all had a setup of like a trading table type setup. So um, basically, they had a trestle table, and then they had all their um, all their product um, set out on the trestle table. So with my area, I felt like. Um, I was invisible basically. People just sort of walked past. Um, they didn't really stop to have a look because um, I don't know whether they were afraid to step into the area or whether they thought my products just weren't interesting. But um, it was very disheartening because um, I had quite a few like lovely products um, available to purchase. Um, and yeah I'm just not quite sure what happened but I feel as though if I had have set it up as a um, trading table type setup I may have got a bit better response. 
to have a stall at the market um, the cost was $35 which was extremely reasonable because a lot of other markets that I looked at um, were a lot more expensive and um, for the market I actually sold $56 worth of product so um, I really didn't come out in front um, at all but um, the products that did sell I had um, I had made four of the bowl holders and I have these two left and I sold two two bowl holders and the bowl holders that I sold I sold for eight dollars each the other products um, that I sold I had um, three of these little um, zipper bags um, this is the small one and this is the large one. I sold the medium sized one um, for $25 and um, it was a double zipper bag and it has a lining inside and it's all quilted so it's been made really well and um, made out of quality products and I sold one of those. The other product that I sold was actually a, um, a notebook um, with the cover on it that was slightly different to this one. Um, it had just it was just basically little strips of fabrics. It was offcuts from some of the projects that I've made and um, I just literally stitched the um, the offcuts together and made it into a book cover and it was slightly smaller than this one it was about um, so a5 size and I sold that for $15 this one here um, this is actually selling for $20 So as I go through and show you um, some of the products that I made for the market, um, I'll give you a guide of the prices as well. And if there's anything here that you see that you like, um, that you might like to make yourself, then please let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video on how to make the project. Um, Alternatively, if there's something that you see that you would like to purchase, head over to the Sew so Focus website and um, click on the handmade button and you'll be able to purchase the handmade item. Now, whenever I have um, spoken to anybody about markets and when you watch um, other YouTube um, videos about markets lots and lots of people are making scrunchies it seems to be the thing that you sell at markets and pretty much if you sell nothing else you'll sell a scrunchie well I had about 50 scrunchies made and I didn't sell one so I've got a variety of colors and sizes different prints of fabrics I've got bright ones and I've got black ones I got lace ones lots of different types and I was trying to sell them for four dollars each and three for ten dollars and I was kind of surprised that I didn't sell any of those I'd also made some hair accessories which are the little butterflies and the butterflies have um, hair ties attached to the back of them and they look really cute um, in your hair whether you're an adult or child and I had quite a few different um, types and colours and these I was selling for $10 each. The other product that um, always sells well at markets um, is 
the good old zipper bag. So zipper bags are handy for so many things. So I made quite a, a big variety um, of um, zipper bags. So this one here has chocolates, um, a good quality zipper on it and fully lined. So I've made the zipper bags in all different shapes and sizes and different fabrics. So this one has um, an ice cream print fabric and I just have a, a normal zipper on that, just a dress zipper and um, it's fully lined. And this one I had on the table for $20. So if you think any of the pricing is um, not great, please just pop into the comments below um, what sort of prices you think I should be selling for these products. All right, so this one here I've done with a combination of vinyl and um, fabric. And I've got a rainbow zipper at the top and I've got a zipper tab um, with a little love heart on it. And it is um, also fully lined. Right, and this one I was selling for $30. Right, and then something for the boys. So this one here. Um, is a larger zipper pouch so um, it could be used to put little cars or it could also be used to um, put marbles or any um, toys that's big enough for a small iPad and this one here um, I had a price of $20 on it and when I made that last one um, I trimmed off the edge and as I trimmed off the edge I actually cut through the fabric that I had planned for another zipper pouch this size so um, so what I did is actually turned it into a design line so I've actually added a contrast fabric um, and I've used the same fabric on the inside of the pouch and managed to salvage this one. So this one I was selling for $16. And this one's a little boxy shaped bag. So it looks like a little box and it zips open and it's fully lined. So these are handy to put anything in. I'm always looking for little zipper pouches to put projects in, um, put camera gear in there and um, yeah all sorts of um, all sorts of stuff. Right, and that little boxy bag is $18. And then I made little zipper pouch. This is actually made out of vinyl. Um, again, it's fully lined and I put um, the little um, vinyl label on this one. And this one was $12. Uh, this little bag here, this has actually got a double zipper on it and can open from both edges. It has um, a waterproof lining in it and also has um, mesh pockets. And if we open the other side, this has got mesh pockets and it's also got um, some elastic for putting in brushes, that type of thing. So you could use this one as a makeup bag or you could use it for um, a project bag. It's got cats on both sides and this one was selling for $55.
Another product that um, usually sells quite well at um, markets is lanyards. So the lanyards have a, a key ring on it and also has a little hook on it um, if you want to hook it onto a bag or you want to hook a USB or something like that on it or if you've already got your keys on a key ring you can actually just hook that onto your key ring. Alright so I had a few different types so I've um, got racing cars, I've got flowers, I've got chocolates and I've got the ice cream fabric there. Alright, so they were selling for for twelve dollars. And then I've also done a smaller version. Um, so this smaller version um, is just like a little fob for a wristlet. So you can pop it onto your wrist um, so that it can keep your keys safe um, when you're walking around. And this one um, I've done for $8. Another type of um, keychain which is really good, you can hook your keys onto this. And this actually has a little triangular um, zipper bag on it and the zipper bag you can fit a credit card and you can put some um, some money in there as well if you just want to race down to the shops um, you've got your keys with you you've got your credit card and you've got a bit of money there as well so I made about half a dozen of those thinking that they would be really quite popular um, but um, to be honest nobody even looked at them so um, that one selling for $12 This is another type of bag that I thought I would try out. So this one um, has a little handle on it and it opens up with a drawstring and opens out into quite a large pouch. So if you've got your, your makeup or um, uh, even your um, sewing tools or if you're doing crocheting or anything where you want to have everything ready for you and when you're finished you can just pull the drawstring up and you've got it all bundled together. It's also handy I think if you've got um, you want a little play pouch um, on the go so if you're going to a, a restaurant with kids you can put a few toys in there um, so it's quite a handy bag for anything and um, this one I was selling for $18 and another little handy pouch um, this one I have made um, made one for myself which I actually put into the car when we're traveling and um, this one has a front zipper. It's traditionally been made as a shoe bag, but um, I use it to put all sorts of bits and pieces into um, into the car when I'm traveling. And um, I can then just zip it up and I can hang it onto one of the knobs on the console. So that's quite handy. And um, that one I was selling for $20. And this is just a, a flat um, a zipper pouch. So this one has a, a clear front to it. So it's got, um, you can see through the vinyl. So when you put stuff in here, you can actually see what you've got in there. And um, this is actually a so quirky pattern. And it has an applique um, design on the front. And this one here, I was selling for $25. I also had some um, embroidered items that I took with me. So um, this one is actually what they call an in the hoop embroidery project. So when you make this um, on the embroidery machine it is almost completely finished um, in the hoop and you've only got a little tiny bit of um, hand sewing to do to finish off that project. 
this one here I was selling for $15 so it's all quilted on the top and all padded so this one's actually good um, for putting um, baby items in um, my daughter has one and she puts the um, baby wipes in it and this little pouch here um, which is for boys stuff um, this fun little bag this is another one that is made in the hoop and this is actually a sweet pea embroidery design so sweet pea um, design all kinds of embroidery designs and I'll put a link into the description below um, so if you want to purchase any embroidery designs if you're lucky enough to have a embroidery um, machine then um, have a look at Sweet Pea Designs because they have a lot of um, fun projects that you can do and you don't need a lot of experience with um, sewing um, with these you can just do the um, the embroidery project so this little one here um, I had a price of $18 on and this is another sweet pea embroidery um, design that's made in the hoop um, so all of the um, all of the sections are embroidered and then after you've finished doing all the embroidery then you stitch them together to make your cube and you can put um, like bells and stuff inside if you want to have some sound but it's a good um, sensory type of um, baby block and this one I was selling for $50 And I had a couple of little teddy bears, um, teddy bears that I was trying to sell as well. So believe it or not, these are actually um, made on the embroidery machine. So all of the sections of the teddy bear are stitched in the hoop. And then after you take them out of the hoop, you turn them through the right way and then you hand stitch all of the components together and then you finish up with your little teddy bear. So these teddy bears, I was um, trying to sell them for $30 each. And also um, I've embroidered some hoodie towels. So the hoodie towels I have made for my grandkids for Christmas over the past couple of years and um, the kids love them because they get out of the bath, they've got a hood that they can put on their wet hair which absorbs the water and then they've got their towel that they can wrap around their body so they're nice and cozy and of course with the different characters on the top they love to to have a bit of a play in them as well so this one is one with the dinosaur on it and then I've also got this one which has um, the little puppy on it so I've got the the towel with the embroidery on it and the cost for that one is $35. Now if anything you think is overpriced um, or underpriced I would love to get your feedback so just um, pop in the comments below if you've got any feedback that you'd like to give me about pricing or if you'd like to know how to make any of these projects just um, drop it into the comments below and then I'll make a video to um, show you how to make the, the products. Uh, this little one that I've got is actually a grab bag so with this um, the larger handle slips inside the smaller handle and it pulls the bag up tight so that you can have your purse and your phone and stuff in there and people can't grab it so when you go to the markets or if you're traveling this is a handy bag to have because you can hook it onto your wrist and um and everything that you've got in there is quite safe all right so this one is actually made from raw silk and it is fully lined 
and this one I was selling for thirty dollars. And I've got quite a few um, crocheted bags. I've um, just started to get back into crocheting again. I used to do it when I was um, oh, probably about 18. And um, I hadn't crocheted for years. But I started crocheting again about 12 months ago. And I've probably made about um, oh, over 100 bags so far. And... Um, all different styles, all different sizes, um, all different yarns, every single one of them is different. There isn't two bags alike at all and they all have different types um, of yarn and I like to I like to use lots of different colors and I like to blend different colors together so um, like a lot of the variegated yarns and most of the time I actually mix two or sometimes three yarns together to get um, a different effect and I also like different textures so this one here um, is just a little crossbody bag I've popped my label on it and this one um, I was selling for $25 This one's slightly larger, still a crossbody bag, um, but this one I've actually put um, fabric straps on and I've also got a, a button closure on this one and I've also done a lining. And this one has a price tag of $35. Right, this one here is one of the mesh type styles of crochet market bags. You can see I can fit my fingers through there. Um, so this is one that you take to your market um, and you put bulkier items in there. Obviously you don't want to put small things in because they're going to fall through the holes. Um, a lot of people use these traditionally for putting fruit in, um, that type of stuff when you go to the market. And this one is selling for $30. It's so soft and fluffy and I must say when we were at the market um, recently people just wanted to touch it. Nobody bought it but they all wanted to touch it. Right, this one here is another of the mesh type um, market bags and this one is just a, a lightweight yarn. Um, they do stretch, so they stretch out to the shape of whatever you might put in them and this particular one is $15. This one here um, has a bit of has a, a little flower detail on it, and it is a medium size um, tote bag, and this one is thirty five dollars. Uh, this one's another medium size tote bag, and this one is thirty dollars. So some of the bags that I've made, um, I've actually put um, denim handles on. I felt that the denim actually complemented um, the yarn. So this one actually has um, a sparkly yarn in it, um, in a, like a blue colour that matches with the denim. And I've also put a nice bright lining inside of this bag. And it has a magnetic closure. And this one is $40. This is another one that I've used um, lots of different textured yarns on. And I've put a denim handle on this. And it also has a lining and a magnetic closure. And the price for this one is... $40. Uh, 
I, and this is another one that I've actually blended different um, yarns together and it's quite soft and fluffy and it has a lining inside and it also has magnetic closure and this one is $40 And then I've made a couple of little um, fun crossbody bags. So this one here um, is very bright, has a fabric handle, and it's got a printed lining using the um, ice cream baking fabric. It's got a magnetic closure, and this one is has got no price, but um, that one would be $25. This one's another little fun bright one and again got a fabric handle and it's got a cute lining. I haven't put a magnetic um, closure on this one. Um, this one is $25. And this one I've made as a child size so it's only got a short um, strap over the top again it's got a fun lining inside and this one is $18 uh, this is a, a little cushion cover that I've made and the cushion cover has been made on the embroidery machine um, stitching out the embroidery design and it's used a product which is called Angelina Fibers, which gives quite a nice um, shiny texture. Um, and it's got um, crystals on it as well. And it has a pocket opening at the back so you can actually slide your cushion in there easily. So if you want to take off to wash it. And the price for that one is $20. This little tote bag here, this has got dragons on it. These bags are just handy for anything. And um, these have been made just from a fabric panel and I've cut the panel so that the um, sections make up a nice size bag. And then inside I've popped a lining that contrasts with the, um, the outside. And the handles of this are long enough so if you want to pop it over your shoulder um, you can easily pop it onto your shoulder. And the price for this one is $25. This one's an embroidered bag. So this has got an embroidery design on the front with all the butterflies. And inside it has a lining that matches um, some of the detail on the outside and it's also got um, some pockets in there for a pen and um, for a phone and this one the price is thirty dollars right, this is another tote bag um, so this tote bag has the foam in it and the foam actually allows it to actually stand stand up on its own so it's not going to um, collapse and it also has a zipper pocket inside right, and the price for this one is $45 And this tote bag is quite a large one. Um, it's actually been made from a um, tote bag panel 
and I've actually done stitching on this one um, it's got metallic stitching which probably doesn't show up too well on the camera um, but it's got quite a shimmer on it and I've also stitched along the water so um, it gives a little shimmer like it's the um, glistening of the water and this is fully lined as well and it has a little pocket inside so that you can drop your keys in and this one is $50 uh, here's another, um, another tote bag and this tote bag is quite large as well and this has actually been done using heat transfer vinyl so I've got the design from um, a company called Design Bundles. It's an online um, store where you can purchase all different types of SVG files. And the SVG files can then be used on a scanning cart um, to cut out all of the detail and then it gets ironed onto the fabric. So the link to Design Bundles is actually on the um, Sew Focus um, main page. So if you're interested in having a look at any of the, um, the different types of Design Bundles, um, just click on the link and that will take you to the website. I've also, on this bag, I've put a little um, strap which has got a little clip on it so you can use that to clip your keys on and then hang that inside your bag so you don't lose them and this one here is selling for $35 and I've also got a couple more little embroidered toys so these were made on the embroidery machine and um, the fabric that I've used here is actually purchased from Spotlight and it's um, it would be great to make a jacket with too I think. Right, this one here is selling um, for $20 each. And last but not least I have this extra large tote bag and this has a large 3D butterfly stitched on it and um, it's fully lined and it also has large pockets on it so that you can pop your phone or your purse in there um, and not lose them and the price for that one is $55. So that brings us to the end of the video. If there's anything that you like that you would um, enjoy making, then please pop in the comments below and I'll do a video on how to make those items. If there is something that you'd like to purchase, um, please head over to the Sew Focus website and on the main page there is a link that will take you to the handmade items and then you'll be able to purchase those items. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm really looking forward to getting feedback from you. Um, whether it's good or bad, I would love to hear from you. And thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.